DJ Minds, what the heck did you just send me to fix? Hey everyone, so DJ Minds sent me this to give it a quick little repair. It should be a fairly easy repair. What this thing is, is a Gecko Science Terminus SHA-256 Bitcoin R606 Pod Miner. Well, it ain't new anymore, but let's open it up and see what we got here. Ooh, that thing's actually got a little bit of weight to it. Terminus R909, Gecko Science, nice circuit board. And I already know what the problem is. Can you find it? Huh. Let me uh, show you here. So as we can see from the back here, it is powered either by a six pin or a barrel jack adapter. I'm not sure what this potentiometer is for. I'm not even gonna touch that. Um, the thing is, this does not have a microcontroller on it to control the hashing and everything else. It's probably just the hash chips itself. It's meant to be connected through USB, either to a Raspberry Pi, some other little ARM, single board computer, or your PC that will send the information so this can do the work. And right here is what's left of the mini USB connector. It accidentally got ripped off the board itself. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, it's actually still connected to the connect the uh, cable. So what I'm going to do, let's get this apart and get the circuit board out. So this way I have more area to work with. Okay, so I got the top cover off back here off to this side. And at first glance, this might be a very easy repair. Because if we bring this up, I know it's going to be kind of fuzzy on the GoPro. Sorry about that. But none of the five pins for the USB 2.0 in the back the pads are all still there. They haven't been ripped off and same with everything else. It almost looks like the solder just didn't hold on. It was a cold solder joint from the factory. It just didn't melt enough. So what we're gonna do first is get my soldering iron out and clean up all these contacts, make sure they're good. So we can definitely see, um, we're not using all five pads. We're just basically using the data pins and probably just a ground pin, but perfect. They're in good condition. Everything else is in good condition. I gotta clean up that one side here again real quick and we should be able to put it back on. So that reflowed pretty well using a uh, low temp solder paste. Let's see if we can take a sort of fuzzy look for it. God, I need a better camera for stuff like this, but it's on there. Let's try the uh, actual cord. You gave me and make sure it. Yep. Okay, that's good. So let me get a uh, breakout board with a six pin just so we can power it up. And I'm going to look and see if I can see this connecting via USB. Okay, that was a pain in the butt. I had to use a new mini USB plug, which I have plenty of those, thankfully. I had to rerun one of the traces because one of the um, pads got lifted off the mini USB landing spot right there. So I had to rerun that, resolder everything like three or four times just to get it right and make sure it wouldn't short out with the casing of itself. Definitely not my best job. But we can see it's blinking here if the camera will pick it up. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it. There we go. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. But if we come up here, we can see the software. It is up and running. And if we come on over to the power supply for it, we can see 12.2 volts at 3 amps. So 12, 24, 36, probably about 40 watts or so. This is definitely getting really warm. The fan is turning, but I don't have it inside the case, so I don't want to run it for too long like this. But either which way, this is done. DJ. Be very ginger with this connector. I put extra solder on the corners to make sure the socket hopefully does not come off of here. And you should be okay, but just push it in and push it out gently. And once you have it set, don't finger it. Don't mess with it. Nothing. Just let it mine and play your lottery. Holy shit, that thing's getting hot. Yeah. Okay, I'm shutting it down now. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Don't send me anything else to solder because I am not the best. Send it to Northwest Repair. He's a lot better than me. And he has a lot more equipment than just this little janky setup I got going on here. Take it easy, everyone.